They're using the excuse that because we signed up to a pay deal three years ago, that they don't have to pay us now. That's ignoring the 10 years of austerity they forced on us. The pay freezes, the cuts. We have been at the coalface and we've been scared to death. We never signed up to be soldiers, we're health workers. You have claimed doctors will receive a 3.1% pay rise when actually this will only benefit consultant doctors. It is going to go to the managers, it's going to go to the parts of the NHS that don't need it as much as we do. We're not seeing anything from the government to counteract the real-time 20% pay cut that we've seen in the NHS. So when we say we will a 15% pay rise, 15% is just the start of payback. Protect the NHS! on time. How many of you have got the resources you need to do the job? Unanimously. How many of you cry when you get home because you can't deliver the care that you were trained to do? This is not just about money in our pocket, Boris. This is about us being able to do the job. We have 42,000 vacancies of nurses in England alone. The NHS cannot survive with our amount of vacancies. So we need a pay rise to save the NHS. Yes. That, that is what these people don't understand. I was absolutely incensed last week when this announcement was made and it prompted me to start a page. I never expected that in less than a week we would have nearly 70,000 of you absolutely up for this change. I'm part of a cohort of students that didn't get the bursary, we won't get the next one. We've been ignored and I'm joining the workforce which is totally neglected by the government as well. The three year pay rise deal which was agreed, did that include the pandemic? Did it? Did it include the countless hours of overtime worked by these staff? Did it encounter the risk to our lives? Did it involve us having to move out of our family homes? Losing the ones that we rely on to support our loved ones. I haven't seen my loved ones in weeks. Do you know what that does to us? Do you know what that does to all of us? I cut so deep to be deliberately excluded from a public pay rise. But you made a statement to the nation thanking two nurses who stood by your bedside. You have ignored and devalued us by not including all the people who were at your back. What about the F1 on call covering 10 medical wards? Or the anaesthetist receiving multiple bleeps for crash calls being called one ward to another to a &E and back to ITU? Quick decision making involved as a multidisciplinary team for you will receive the last ventilator. How do we come to a decision and how do we break it to their loved ones? Did the increased workload for the housekeepers to clean cubicles infected with COVID to make room for new admissions get forgotten? The admin staff with patient notes up to their shoulders, radiographers running up and down without a break to perform emergency chest x-rays, or the tireless porters transferring patients to ITU and increased numbers of dead bodies to the morgue. Paramedic crew tending to dead bodies at home and distressed families on what to do next. I was redeployed to a critical care unit where I was responsible for multiple patients who were in multiple organ failure. I spent up to 40 hours with them in full PPE. I looked after dying colleagues, frontline staff who came into work to care for people who ended up at the receiving end of a ventilator. 
I give audio descriptions of patients dying to their relatives. I talked them through what I was doing, what machines I was turning off, and how I was holding their hand. I tried to comfort relatives by showing that their loved one was not alone in their last moments. And they weren't alone. We were all there. We were all there. The screams of those relatives are going to haunt me for the rest of my life. There's cuts that aren't going to heal. It's so incredibly wicked and evil that this government is slapping the face to all the staff who worked so incredibly hard and sacrificed so much. My father died of coronavirus. Um, my husband was in St. Thomas's. He nearly had, to, he was very ill. He nearly had to be ventilated. I had to face the thought that he might not survive. But luckily, due to amazing care, he turned around and he got better. Thank you. Thank you. And my, my wee 95 year old mum, she also was in hospital. This was up in Edinburgh with coronavirus. And can you believe it? She survived and she got home. So it's, it really hit me very much. But both of them said that they had got such amazing care from the nurses and the doctors and all the other NHS staff who looked after them. I know it's a vocation, but this government is literally abusing our virtue. This government has failed us all during this crisis. Just this week, a TfL commissioned report from UCL have found that if lockdown had happened earlier, bus drivers' lives would have been saved as would her health workers' lives and many of the thousands of the public and other workers who have died because of this crisis. Can the Prime Minister, Mr Boris Johnson, even begin to imagine how it might feel to have your whole world fall apart around you, to lose your loved ones? The shoes we've laid down at your doorstep is to acknowledge 540 healthcare workers who sacrificed their lives. We've had loads of calls from distressed workers who didn't have enough PPE and all of the managers were in denial about it completely. And it's privatisation that wrecked the PPE chain and made it impossible to get PPE into the hospitals. Even in the news, how many health workers had died? My mum was scared to death. I want to remember our colleagues that have died from the Homerton. Sophie, Michael and Dr. Chowdhury. Over 61% of, of those NHS staff who died were from BME backgrounds. And we saw staff from the Bain community being sent to high-risk areas and enduring greater allocations of caseloads. Before the pandemic became really bad, I was racially abused for you know, looking Asian, like, oh, you caused the corona, this is your problem. And I was on the way to an overtime shift. Yeah, I was showing my badge. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I'm of East African and Pakistani origin, and I work alongside people from all over the world, which the NHS is dependent on BAME people. The lack of pay rise coupled with the ongoing indignity of racism will make many nurses want to leave the UK. And we need to struggle for racial as well as economic justice. We now ask you all to take a knee in solidarity with BAME NHS staff and the Black Lives Matter movement. Black Lives Matter! 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 Black Lives Matter!
very good reason to. And they told us that there was no alternative but to accept it. To the RCN, to Unison and to Unite, we pay your wages yeah. now by yeah. The task is now to build for the biggest strike yeah. that we've ever seen. and make the biggest strike that this generation has ever seen. Yeah! I'm telling you now, boys, if we can manage to beat the COVID pandemic at its worst, we can manage to fight for a pay rise for ourselves. Yeah!